Manal here, and I'm here with Brenda Nemeth, Dr. Brenda Nemeth from Red Deer, Alberta. And um, so I'm just going to be, um, first I'm going to have her introduce herself a little bit and uh, catch me up to date from the years since I've, you know, <laughs> had a chance to talk to her. And, and then also, um, you know, we're going to be doing an interview just asking general questions about practice. And so anyway, I hope this is useful to you. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, my name is uh, Dr. Brenda Nemeth, and I graduated from CCNM in 2004. Um, I've kind of been a naturopath my whole life, <laughs> just not officially. So when I was nine years old, I was introduced to uh, naturopathic medicine, and I was sold, and I wanted to be one ever since I was a little kid. So I um, well, I technically started practice in 2005 and then opened the Red Deer Wellness Clinic in June of 2005. And there was just me and a massage therapist and another um, kind of holistic therapy person. And now I have five naturopathic doctors, um, one massage therapist and one EFT therapist. And it keeps me busy. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like, that's an operation then. As you know, yeah, now. <laughs> okay, so, so I, you know, I've been interviewing, um, you know, uh, bone therapists, mm -hmm. but also, you know, clinicians in general and other naturopaths, you know, what are the biggest problems that they're facing in growing their practice, growing their business? And um, yeah, and so, you know, of course, I've, I've got some uh, some answers from them and I wanted to ask you can, yeah. what did you do to deal with that how did things happen for you so you know one of the biggest um, issues I'm just going to go through my notes here um, yeah well first of all how do you start with no client base <laughs> like that's that's like what's the in, how, in yeah. your situation or did you already have you know no, I didn't. I had actually started with another clinic when I first started out and it just, it just didn't work um, after six months. And so I decided to take the leap on myself, on myself. And um, honestly, I think it was, I don't know, this sounds and cliche, but it was just because I was happy. So I was able to do what I wanted and I loved it. And there was no one saying that I couldn't do anything. And so all of my entire practice has been word of mouth. And I truly believe it's just because I love what I do. So, and I know that's not easy to teach. <laughs> so, <laughs> people are like, no, no, I need my notes of exactly what to do to be successful. But um, it really was just because I was helping people and that's my whole life dream. Um, from a business perspective, I think the only thing we did, um, well, I've only ever done two talks in my entire life. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I, know, I know. I do not like it. <laughs> and I did a talk on, oh, I think it was on allergies and muscle yeah. testing because I do the applied kinesiology um, to a school kind of like a PD day sort of thing. So I did one little session and there was probably 40, well, probably mostly women that showed up and they have been the biggest referrals my entire life. So you get two or three people and they just are fanatic and they love you no matter what you do, <laughs> just nice. And they tell everyone about you. So I did that. And then I think the first, it was three to six months. We, we ran like a coupon or whatever. So I might've done, honestly, I don't even know if we ran it in the paper or we just kind of handed them out. Um, my mom used to work in the school before she came to work for me as my receptionist. So <laughs> Um, so she might have given one out to like her kind of Wolf Creek um, emails and that was it so we ran a promotional offer of it was probably like actually I think it was $50 off your initial and then um, and then that was it and I truly believe and I know people are like oh how do I get new patients it's it's like once you get them in then it's like it you're, it's easy. <laughs> so um, as long as you can get a few people in, then they'll just start telling people about you. So, mm -hmm. okay. So mostly referral and 
loving what you do. Yeah, no, it really has to be from like, you can't focus on the money. Like I do understand, obviously we come out of school with a hundred thousand dollars in debt or more, but it's, um, it'll come. The abundance will be there if you allow it basically. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's like we're interviewing each other, right? It's yeah, like, probably. It's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's the system. <laughs> but okay, now have you found with um, with Bowen therapy? Because one of the other mm-hmm. you know, issues that people have raised that that do Bowen or that you know primarily do Bowen or that is their training. Yeah, you know, they're saying, well, the problem I'm having is nobody nobody knows what it is, nobody right. understands it, and. Yeah they think they're already getting a physical therapy. So they say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing something like that. Right. Because they have no idea what Bowen really can do. Yeah. So how did you overcome that? Or how did, what happened there for you? Um, well, for me, I have um, a really good sense of what therapies will fit for each client too. Mm-hmm. And so I think because I, I think I did the right therapy on them that it, that they got results right away. But the way I always describe Bowen is that it puts all the other therapies together. So it's like the backbone of the mesh work that will integrate all of them. So I'll, and I'll usually say, okay, so your massage therapist or will do your muscle work and your chiropractor will do your bone work. Um, but your Bowen therapist will put them together. So then you don't have to go as often to the other ones. Not that you don't want to, but it's just, you don't have to. Um, And often I do refer to Bowen like homeopathy, not to say that homeopathy is any more understood, (laughs) (laughs) but it's kind of like um, you could start using words that people already know Mm -hmm. and then be like, Oh yeah. Okay. I kind of get that. Or of course, if they had mentioned acupuncture, I'll say it. So, well, it's kind of like so much what acupuncture does without the needles. So it's like a way of tying in what the person already knows in order for them to get that understanding. Um, and of course I love Bowen. Like, and I always say, so I grew up playing a ton of sports and I still, I still attempt to now. Um, and we would do chiropractic all the time. And since I've learned Bowen or had Bowen on me, I haven't been to a chiropractor since. Mm-hmm. So that's like 20 years of chiropractic to where 15 years without it. Yeah. Wow. That's so it's valid science. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> <A> case study. <laughs> one, yeah. One off case. <laughs> yeah. And probably a lot less sessions, right? You know, like, oh, well, completely. It's not even, it's not even in the same, same <laughs> emphasis at all. Right. So yeah. in practice, a lot of times you go two or three times a week. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they just hope that the bone stays in. Well, <laughs> Okay. You yeah, it was the same with me, right? I had um, eight years, three times a week oh, because wow. of my scoliosis and yeah. so yeah. much, you know, discomfort. And I was out of pain for like, you know, a day and a half, two days, uh-huh. two days and a half, you know, and then I, it would go again, right? Yeah. So, you know, and then the muscles would seize and, you know, the whole story. And then yeah. I ended up with what I didn't know at the time was bone, but I had two treatments mm-hmm. and um, I still don't have scoliosis, right? It's right. It's corrected and yeah, it's different. So, so how? So that's the other fear. Okay, now this is not coming so much. um, Well, not from everybody, but the other fear is, oh my God! Like in sometimes three to five treatments, you know, for an an acute injury, sometimes even chronic pain, people are out of pain. Right. How do you keep them as patients? So, and you know, I've been told this. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you answer to that and what do you do about that? Well, it, it really is all about the education. Um, you can't assume that people know what you know. And that's the one thing I think doctors or, or Bowen therapists think is that it's common knowledge, but it's not. Um, so you have to explain that that's great. So we've gotten you out of crisis situation but now let's keep you healthy or let's prevent your next injury or something like that. Again, it depends on where the person is coming in from there. An athlete is huge because it's like, okay, well, I want to play the whole season. So I better do my bone. And I often say, well, people, cause bone, well, I just love bone, but <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, um, in my way of thinking is Bowen will always kind of come back to where you ended. 
So like, and I always tell people and, and whether this is, well, because we don't know everything about Bowen yet, but um, I always call it as a foundation. So your first and second Bowen, they build like the, the, you know, the foundation of your home. And so even if you didn't have Bowen for like 10 years after that, if you had your first two Bowens together and you built that framework, then it literally picks up where it last left off. So, which is kind of what I use with like the homeopathy is that it's, it's always allowing your body to heal. Yeah. And so I think that people, it's like they get dedicated, but then they always remember that I've said that. So they think that, oh, maybe I should get a tune up or maybe <clears throat> I should just do it just, just because I want to continue healing. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's so much about education. You just have to repeat it multiple times of like, okay, so we're dealing with this and then we're going to transition into the optimal living phase or something like that. So yeah. then they're like, Ooh, you know, you know, yeah. they're like, I want to be optimal. <laughs> yeah. So, and Bowen is the one therapy that I know of all therapies that just ties everything together. Yeah. So. so it's interesting because I, yeah, what I ended up doing is, you know, calling it Bowen therapy or Bowen first therapy, whatever, mm -hmm. because I do Bowen first. Yeah. Right. Because I put the foundations <laughs> on the name. Yeah. It's <laughs> term, you know? it's yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards, um, you know, I didn't like one of the most exciting things for people is when I told them, you know, if you actually don't feel like you have any discomfort or pain or anything, feel free to cancel the appointment, but let me know, right? Or let the mm -hmm. secretary know. Yeah. And that was like the weirdest thing to hear because they're going like, cancel an appointment is like, what, what therapist wants that? But it was kind of um, counterintuitive because they, they were like, oh, you, you really believe I'm going to get better. Right. And, yeah. and then I would do the education piece. And the second part I call reboot, right? Like re mm -hmm. we need to go back to reboot because your your body's been fixed, but now we need to keep it in that ultimate state of health yeah. and keep rebooting like the computer. Because and, and that came from a very honest experience with a computer. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and two, you can uh, again go back to real life situations where people will do an oil change. Yes. Right? Yeah. Every 5,000 kilometers, people, we just do it. Yeah. Someone told us that's what we should do. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like getting them in that mind frame that, okay, every three months I'm going to do a Bowen, right? Just yeah. to clean up anything that might be dysfunctional. Because mm -hmm. even just like stepping wrong on a, you know, like a rocky road will, you know, could throw your whole system off, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, totally. Okay, let me see other questions that have come up here. Um, okay, yeah, no public knowledge. Okay, that was a big one. But so, so how do we deal with? Because uh, you, I mean, you have a, at now at this stage you have a secretary um, mm -hmm. that picks up the phone. How right. do you how do you deal with? Uh, you know, is Bowen right for me? Or how do you? Or let's say they hear about it through mm -hmm. somebody. How do you how do you work with that? And you're a naturopath, so there's more at play, more things to choose from, more right. Um, well, I've always had a receptionist, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> but I'm just thinking if like a just a random person talked to me. Um, well, and well, see, a lot of the bone therapists that I know are massage therapists, so that's easy. Because they're like, oh, is it covered? We're like, yeah, because their massage therapist is still body work. Um, but the person who would have no affiliation or no, maybe, hmm, that one is a difficult. I know that's probably the stumbling block. Um, I don't know if I can answer that. No, <laughs> that's, that's good. No, because, I mean, what I want to do is offer, you know, ideas, but of yeah, course, my entire intention is to come up with solutions yeah. and focus on what the missing pieces are so that this therapy is just like all over the world, <laughs> like easy, you know? So one of the things, you know, that is a question is, yeah, if people don't have coverage, mm -hmm. 
um, which is, you know, why I got it accredited and yeah. why and you've done all that work. Long, yeah. painstaking, still waiting years yeah. of waiting to, you know, yeah. get that threshold of people so that, yeah. you know, it can be recognized fully. Um, but yeah, what do you do with that? What do you think would be a, how do you get them in the door in the first place? <laughs> well, they it's on. hard because you, well. <laughs> like, I looked at my clients. Okay. I'll just give you kind of yeah. the thing for me. Right. And I looked at about half of them were covered for okay. extended healthcare. Yeah. And so, you know, as a, as a naturopath, you know, I had to make the choice. Right of where to go. And, you know, I, as I got more practitioners in the clinic, I made mm -hmm. different varied choices depending on, you know, what outcomes I was looking for ultimately and, you know, and how to support the, the, the others as they start and all this sort of stuff. So there's a lot mm -hmm. of reasonings for things, but um, I mean, when people get referred, I don't, I've never been told, Oh no, I, I won't do it cause it's not covered. Right. Like, you know, and, and I've looked at people, in fact, it's kind of interesting because I've had more problems with the people who are covered, mm -hmm. that limited mindset that you can spend $500 in Canada on your health. Yeah. And when the 500 runs out, then they're right. like, I'm going to wait for next year. And then I have yeah. to educate like, okay. And so how much is that really going to cost you to mm -hmm. wait? To wait that long, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't really seen the problem. That's why hmm. I guess you have an either. So well, I wonder if it's a red deer thing too, right? Because, um, or not red deer, but Alberta. Um, because that's the first question I get, no matter what. Is it covered under massage? And that's even for cranial sacral or lymph drainage or okay. even basic massage. They say, okay, just, you know, is it covered with my insurance? I said, well, you can double check, but she is a, RMT. Now I have had actually two women over the 13 years that weren't RMTs who did Bowen for me. Um, and the one was extremely successful. She worked for me for seven years and then um, decided to work out of her own home. Um, but she was kind of the epiphany of health. Like you looked at her and wanted to be like her. Mm -hmm. So I think she was just her own walking advertisement. And of course, um, she would get referrals from the doctors. So um, I guess those Bowen therapists who aren't an RMT, they should hook up with an know, And that's a real possibility, right? Because, yeah. I mean, if naturopaths are successful, they need other yeah. people. And if oh, they, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's a network I was thinking made, makes sense when there's an amount of naturopaths who understand right. and appreciate both it is. well and potentially there. <laughs> yeah they could even do like a mini bowen um release kind of thing and and do like i don't know like a 15 minute freebie sort of thing because bowen is instant and yep. a lot of times i'll do a quick release on a shoulder or something in the office and then i'll say um but i want you to go to krista um yeah. to remove the rest of the compensations and then they're like yeah i'm sold and i go yeah. um and maybe it is just the fact that bowen that's its selling point is that you don't have to go a lot of times and maybe that can be what a person would focus on um because yeah you could say either you can go to your chiropractor three times a week for the rest of your life or <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> Your chiropractor once a month and you know and the bowen will actually keep the adjustments in I th and i think we need to go with what our people already know and then bowen will be like you said the first the first offense but until that happens um they might have to piggyback a little bit on the knowledge of other therapies because chiropractic was the same thing and you know in the 50s no one knew anything about it mm -hmm. or that, even naturopathic i guess at, at that point mm -hmm. um yeah, that, see, that one's hard because I, hmm, I think I just tell my clients I need you to do this therapy and then they do it. Right. So. <laughs> okay, so, so here's another point that came up. Mm -hmm. and, and a surprising amount of times is confidence. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and how do you get 
the confidence. Um, well, you fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> but is that, is that, um, yeah, I'm trying to think back as it's yeah. been so long, you know, I've yeah. done this 25 years, did I fake it, you know? I, I don't know, you know, I, it, I don't feel that that's completely true. Well, and you had your personal experience, right? And so yeah, that's, that's where right. you drew personal it from. Um, and that's, again, even when I say, well, you know, I don't do chiropractic anymore because I don't need it because of Bowen, that is probably a selling point too. Yeah. Yeah, so, so involving the personal... Yeah, I think maybe stuff. that's what the hidden gem is. Yeah. Because as soon as you say, it's worked for me, then they're like, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's worked for somebody, right? So it might work for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think it's interesting. You know, yeah, I'd have to go through all the people I've interviewed to see, mm -hmm. have they had their own... because you can't take that out of a person, you know, no. when you've been transformed, it's like, yeah. You know, and, and it doesn't matter that you're learning it, that you're not an expert yet, that you, mm -hmm. the, the fact is, you know, this stuff works. Yeah. You're going to just, you're going to make it work, you know, yeah. Cause that's the energy that goes with the, um, you know, it's not, you're not even selling then you're just, no, saying, you're just being do, honest. Do this. Do yeah. this. this is going to help. You know, and yeah. it's like, comes from another place, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and even I remember when I was doing my training with Wanda, she had said that um, there was one of her students that just did like basic aim and that was it. And she didn't do any other courses. She didn't even do anything but the basic. And she did that on people for two years and they all got better. Yeah. So it's just interesting that like no matter what you do, Bowen will always help something. <laughs> So, yeah. you know, so the person can't lose, like it might not, it might not fix immediately what they want or what they think they should have better, but it's going to do something. So, and that's why I say is setting the foundation at least, well, obviously it resets your nervous system before trauma occurred to kind of erase a lot of the compensations that have happened because of that. Yeah. Um, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, it's going to hit all layers. Mm -hmm. And it continues to work even when you're not on the table. So mm -hmm. I think that those types of things, people think they get value because they're like, oh, it's still working. It's not like massage, I'm off the table, I'm done kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah so, that's a good differentiator because, I mean, it's true. And yeah, you tell people it keeps working. But that's an interesting way of um, positioning it, that mm -hmm. it's still working through you, like, like yeah. a remedy, right? You don't have to keep teaching. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to keep taking it because yeah. your your nervous system will continue to yeah. send signals, right? Yeah, so that's another piece of education. Like, you know, uh, like recently I've been doing a lot of work on what is mm -hmm. the healing process and all of that because right. it's education. People don't know if yeah. they're not in that paradigm of thinking, right? Yeah. So, mm, okay, that's cool. Okay, let me well, see. Okay. Yeah, and I was just going to, I was just thinking that because I'm just going back to that whole thing, like, I think I used to like, even like as, as the naturopath, like I, I maybe wouldn't prescribe a certain thing cause I didn't think the person can afford it or, or I wouldn't tell them about a therapy cause I didn't think that they would, that they would do it. I've really tried not to do that because that's, I'm, well, <laughs> that's my own issues, not theirs. Right. And right. so all you need to do is give their information um, that could benefit them and it's up to them to make the choice. So yeah. either they drink one less bottle of wine a week and do bone therapy, <laughs> right? but it's not up to me to figure out how they can afford it. So that's probably one of the biggest things. And I'm still working on it because, you know, still almost like a student brain where I think that, you know, everything's um, budgeted, but it's, I think you need to take your own prejudice out of, and just you know, tell your clients everything that's a possibility that may help that you think, then it's up to them to decide. Yes. And because bone is so fast acting, it sells itself. But you, like you said, you just need to get them in the door. You need to get them to have that first experience. Yeah. Um, and even those, um, I, well, I watched that interview that you did with, I don't, it was some talk show that you were on. It was, <laughs> I've done the cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did, you did Bowen on a lady with a frozen shoulder. 
Oh yeah, on CTV. for twenty years or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, like years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like that was just phenomenal, you know. Yeah. And it it could be even things like that that if they had it in their waiting room or um, little snippets of part of it, so people can like download that video or something, so they can watch it on their Facebook. You know, because that itself is mind blowing. Like yeah. that is beyond anything you could ever imagine just by seeing that in your face. So, yeah. so that you could probably use um, as your students as as marketing, right? This, you right, know, and this that's what I'm, exactly. And the whole process of finding out what's missing, uh -huh. you know, I'm gonna just do whatever I can to fill that. Yeah. And, you know, and some of it is mindset. You know, as you say, it's like yeah you know, don't make decisions for others. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, <laughs> some, and some of it is, is like lack of resources. Right. Some of it is this accreditation business thing that I've got a, you know, yeah. you know groundswell of everyone deciding to, you know, support that. I'm mm -hmm. wondering, what about research for you? How, how many objections do you have and where's the research? I've never had that question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's funny. Yeah, I have, you know, oh, okay. people ask, but more because they're, they want to know why it worked on them. <laughs> not, mm, not because they wouldn't much, have yeah. tried it, you know? I mean, the biggest selling thing is you, you say that, you know, in, in three visits, you know, that's what you need to commit to. Right. That's what I say, you know, yeah. to know whether this is going to have the impact that you're hoping it will have. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is it, it, like you said, it always has an impact. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yes, so and often it has the impact they want, but it brings yeah. up the entire healing potential so that people go, Oh my God, does it really deal with my anxiety? Does it, Yeah. you know, and it's like, Oh my God, this, you know, <laughs> like way bigger than their actual expectations. You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never actually, I've never, I would, even in my entire practice with every single therapy I do or have done, I don't know if I've ever had that question. <laughs> like, show me the research. <laughs> so, and maybe it's because I already do witchcraft with applied kinesiology that they're right. like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, between that and the little homeopathy, you know. Yeah, we're well, pretty much already in that realm. <laughs> It doesn't matter anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let me think. Is there anything else that, just from your general experience mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, that you, that we haven't covered by the types of questions that were, well, actually, there is one more question, mm -hmm. but I think you've answered it, and, yeah, um, how do you keep patience coming right. back? But I think it's education Yeah. that's been the main answer. Oh. And as, and yeah, so if I, I'll just speak as a naturopath because you can use the same thing for just a Bowen therapist. But um, so every single visit, I'm always telling them what to expect. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm continually, again, it's repetition because people only hear like 10% of everything you say. So if you repeat it enough times, they might get it. But, you know, so I do mine where my initial visit, um, well, I, my initial is actually two visits. So the, the first visit, we do all the physical exams, the intake and everything like that. And then we start a little bit of treatment. And then the second visit um, is usually a week later. And then we start doing more treatment and then just kind of seeing how they're doing. And then I usually see them about a month or six weeks later, and then maybe two or three months after that. And then they go on an annual. So every single visit, I'm, I'm explaining that. Like, so it's like they're getting repetition. So then they know that once they hit that, you know, where I see you, you know, every three months or whatever, that they go into an annual. So you can do the same thing with the Bowen is that, okay, so we're going to resolve the acute initial issues that are, are, are causing you. And then we're going to do um, work on the chronic underlying for prevention. And then I'm going to see you every three months just to keep that going or, every six months it depends how busy your practice is and how much room you can actually see but just start using that education because every medical doctor everyone knows about their annuals or their physicals right yeah. so yeah. why can't you do bone the same way right yeah totally. so just start using that terminology um because now um oh gosh i think i do about 250 annuals a year 
um, with clients. And so that really is what maintained my practice for the last decade. And, um, and of course I'm still taking new patients, but I don't have time for a lot of everything else. And yes, you're going to lose people because you know, they, whatever their life changes, but you're always going to maintain that kind of steady client base. So the bowling therapist or any therapist can do the same thing. Yeah. It's just that you, it's like you said, it's about the education. And you just, you have to tell them what to expect and what's coming next. Mm-hmm. And maybe even with the Bowen therapy, you would have their list of the complaints and you visually show them, okay, this is resolved. This is resolved. This is resolved. Cause I have, well, for my applied kinesiology, I have a, a checklist. And so I visually show them what they don't have anymore because people like that as well. Mm-hmm. And so you can do that with either visual body parts or yeah. checklists in order to see where their progression is. Because once you're out of pain, you forget you ever had pain, right? Yeah. So that's just yeah. the way the body is. Yeah. And so then they can gauge at how well they're doing. Right. Or if you have a complaint that it continues to come back, it's like, okay, well, what else can we do so this doesn't happen? Mm-hmm. And maybe the person isn't coming often enough or they're doing something lifestyle-wise, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Exactly. So whether they, yeah, the visuals will probably help, but it really is just about every single time you're with them, you tell them what to expect because then it's, it's, that's just the way it is. (laughs) And and it's funny, you know, because it's, it's probably the simplest of all things to do, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's probably the thing most not done by the people who aren't, um, it's the communication piece, you know, Mm -hmm. communication, I think with the enthusiasm. Yeah. And the, the knowing that, you know, that you're, yeah, you're, mm-hmm. you're peddling something good. You know, you're not peddling at all, right? You're just like, yeah. do this, you know, and this. Yeah, is that's the just the way it is. is. Yeah, yeah. Just the way it is, yeah. So any last, yeah. um, actually, I should ask you too. So overall now, how many people come through your clinic or, I mean, just, to, you know, not exact science, but more or less um, how yeah, how successful can one be doing, I mean, I know you're doing naturopathy too, but if you focus a little bit on Bowen here, just yeah. to give an idea. For- well, you could easily see 10, 10 patients a day, every day. Well, oh. probably four days a week because most therapists burn out at five. Yeah. So four days a week seems to be the nice, you know, um, you double them up so you're only doing five or six hours a day. Yeah. Okay. Or quadruple them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah some people like sometimes that's things. happened too. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so ideally, so ten, so forty people a week. You know, sixty people a month, one hundred and sixty people a month. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's easy. Yeah. To yeah. Um, and one thing, and I don't even know if you said this once in, a, in an interview or I just picked it up somewhere else, but it could be you. Um, give people a purpose um, w- with referral. So it's like, okay, so if you know anyone who, you know, whatever, okay, so if you had a shoulder pain or whatever, if you know of anyone who has frozen shoulder, let me know or let them know so I can help them too. Yeah. Rather than say, oh, if, you know, if, if you know of anyone who needs Bowen, because people just don't, don't know. understand that. Yeah. yeah. So give them a task of mm-hmm. saying, okay, if you have this specific group, you know, let them know so I can, I can help them not rather than, Oh, I need, I need patients. Could you refer? Yeah. It's, it's and just, again, that's mindset. It's just the other way yeah. of coming really from service, but yeah. speaking in the language that they identify. Cause I know I've had, you know, people saying, Oh, I have so many people that need to come here. Yeah. What do I tell them so that they can come, you know? And it's like, I say, well, do you know anybody who has whatever it is that they have? Right. And they go, oh, yeah. I said, well, then tell them what happened. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know? Be nice to them and let them know so they can be out without pain, too. Because <laughs> that way, you know, unlike you who had to wait 10 years till you got this yeah. sorted out, you know, in a few yeah. steps, right? And it's like, oh, you know, and it's funny. You would think that's normal, but, mm-hmm. it's, you, you know, it's very interesting. You have to tell people yeah. what you want. It's like you... Yeah. you you know, and I always thought, oh, it's, it's so obvious, but it's yeah. not, right? Like, yeah, common sense isn't common. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the statement. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So any last 
anything you want to share? And then I think we're, this has been so, so great to hear. Yeah, know, it's pretty much what you already know, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. And it's, and it's funny though, because everyone has asked me, well, what have you done? Because everyone's expecting me to say, oh, well, I advertise, I do this, I do that. I've done nothing. You know, I've just, I've just been present. And obviously there's challenges and there's fears and that all happens. And, you know, we've gone through two recessions and we've increased business both times. So it's that, well, it's fear mongering basically with a lot of people, but it, it's, you're always going to be successful if you allow yourself. So, yeah. um, and you just need that one or two client that just will not shut up and tell everybody, <laughs> you yeah. know, like it's just yeah. one of those things and, and be, and be grateful, right? Like show your appreciation. Like, um, like I'm always, yeah, like I'm always making sure that I've thanked people for every single referral or even if they haven't referred, but I thank them for coming in to help their, themselves, right? So yeah. then they feel appreciated as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And even like with respect to Bowen, like obviously Bowen does incredible work, but it won't, it won't do it. Like it's, it's still the, their body. Yes. So that's one thing that people forget is that like as therapists, they take credit for their, yeah, like the patient's healing. So I've always, well, partially it's because then I can't get blamed afterwards, but, uh, <laughs> but you always put it back on them. So yeah. they're like, Oh, thank you for helping me. And I say, no, thank your body for helping yourself. <laughs> like I always say that. And it's yeah. like, Oh no, but you've done so much. I said, no, you've done all the hard work. Like I continually say that. Yeah. So it's just, getting that energy back um and, like and it's, the, the, it's the truth right because if if you have committed responsible patients which is mm -hmm. what you're in a sense teaching them yeah to take ownership of the decisions they made mm -hmm. what they've been doing they become you know more more grateful of their yeah. body more connected to healing yeah and more proactive to you know preventing things and being conscious right so yeah it's an absolute win-win and you know, who knows what our role really is. <laughs> yeah. Communicators. Well, exactly. And also if they say, well, okay, bone's not working or you know, what you're doing isn't working. It's like, okay, well, what do you think that how you're contributing to this? Yeah. Right. Like, cause then, yeah, you're, you're putting it back to them, whether it's good or bad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's really taking a proper, follow up too which anyway this is all <laughs> except, uh -huh. you know people like you said you, yourself when something gets better they forget about it yeah so to actually remind them mm -hmm. what that's a very get, good thing yeah yeah and so that they actually go through the process and go oh yeah that's true okay mm -hmm. yeah, I'm less hard on myself I'll, oh know. yeah well, and we always get those clients and as like a newbie doing it, they'll say, oh, and they'll come in and they'll just like slump down on the chair. Nothing's, nothing's working. Yeah. Nothing's happened. I'm like, okay, well, let's see what, you know, and then you go through the list and like, no, nope, no, nope, they don't have that. It's like, okay, well, something has happened. <laughs> you know? Like it might not be the one. Yeah. We're, we're cleaning up the mess, you know, to get to the big one. Right. Exactly. So, so yeah, I think that's a good thing to tell your your students is, you know, have that reminder for yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And actually another little, little thing, cause I learned this, I, it was probably even before I started practice. Um, when you shake a person's hand, you mm -hmm. have to like double shake. Do you know what I'm talking about? So like, 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 you know, hold in yeah, like so it. like if you go to shake a hand like this, you have to put your other hand there with their hand in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, because I learned that from um, Dr. Ung. He's a huge Chinese medical doctor in, in Alberta um, because you want to give back their energy. So it's like completing it. And, and it's, if you do it, it's so much different for the, for the person that you're shaking their hand. So it's just, that was my, if I had one little trick, that's what I always do is every person. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Could you, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? I missed that. Oh, I was just saying that like, if there was one little trick that I have yeah. is that every single time I meet a person for the first time, I do the, like the double handshake. Yeah. So that their hand is within your hands. Yes. 
And okay. so you're circulating the energy back to them. Yeah. Because if you just shake a person with one hand, you can feel that it's just not as comforting and not as... Yeah, because it's very nurturing to yes. do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but beyond the nurture, it's also energetically. Yes. You're, you're, um, you're getting yourself out of there. <laughs> you're getting yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and sorry, this yeah. is one last thing. People say, oh, you know, how do you, because I don't, at the end of my days, and, you know, sometimes, as you know, I've seen a ridiculous amount of people in a day. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I feel energized. I feel great. And so yeah. they're saying, oh, what do you do to protect your energy? And, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I actually, well, because I was really, really, really bad at, at visualization or meditating when I first started practice. And so I always basically had, I set an intention that um, I'll never lose energy. So if if people are using mine or taking mine, it's always replenished with something else. So it was like a revolving energy. Yeah. Um, Cause then I wouldn't have to do it every single day to try to remember. And then actually this really, really in smart lady got mad at me and said, yeah, but they're still stealing parts of you. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, <laughs> so now I have what I refer to as a double bubble. So I have my energy that in, in my sense, it's actually gold energy. And then I have the circulating energy on the outside so that no one ever touches mine. But the, if anyone needs anything, it, it's kind of that revolving circular energy. And then usually plants will actually help, you know, that energy be to be replenished. So yeah. it is, I've set that intention and which means that I don't have to protect myself every day because yeah. it's just there. It, 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 it is what it is and it can't be destroyed. So yeah, do the double layer because <laughs> I made the mistake because I kind of got diluted with my energy. Um, but yeah, ever since then, I haven't had any concerns. Okay. No. Yeah, no, and I think for me, I've, um, yeah, I kind of, I've used the, I, it's a notion I have. Yeah. If you are um, connected to love in a deep way mm -hmm. and you're, you're, it's like so much energy is, comes out. Yeah. That there's plenty to, to take mm -hmm. <laughs> so that it never takes anything away from me. Yeah. So I've, I've not really been into the, the fear or the protection mm -hmm. either because it's yeah. like there's enough. And I think yeah. that, that um, comes from more of a scarcity mentality yeah. that you have to protect. And I mean, you have to yeah. enrich yourself. You have to take care yeah. of yourself. Oh, definitely. Like that's not about just running ragged, but it's, yeah. you know, there's plenty to give. So mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Anyway, well, I think we could go on forever, but I know you <laughs> Probably, yeah. to practice. And <laughs> anyway, but um, thank you so much for sharing this. And, um, you know, my intention again is to get this out and I'll let you know how we do this. So this right. Is, uh, <laughs> of course. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Take. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.